Okay, for 4b, another one we want to find the exact value. Again, if you have things that are not sine, cosine, tangent, you can use the identities to change them so that way you have the values from your unit circle or the table. This one is the same. So for this cosecant, cosecant is the same thing as 1 over sine. So we're going to do 1 over sine pi over 3. Cotangent is the same thing as 1 over tangent. So we're going to do that first to put them by using the identities. Now we'll put the, the values in from the unit circle or the table. So we have 3 times, okay, sine pi over 3. So that's sine 60. That's going to be square root of 3 over 2. Next, we have tangent of pi over 4 is 1. So we have the values in from that. Here, we're going to take 3 and we're going to multiply it by the reciprocal. So it's going to be 2 over square root of 3. 1 divided by that, we flip and multiply. And then we have plus 1. Across the top, we have 6. So 6 over square root of 3. Now that part can be rationalized. So we're going to multiply that by square root of 3 over square root of 3. We still have the plus 1 here. Multiply across the top, 6 square root of 3. Across the bottom, uh, you'll get square root of 9, which is 3, plus 1. And then the 6 over 3 reduces to 2 square root of 3 plus 1. So that would be your exact value, 2 square root of 3 plus 1. Remember, uh, if it says exact value, that means you want to leave your answer in terms of a square root or a fraction. You don't want to turn it into a decimal.